The Saturn V rocket was the rocket that NASA used to put the first humans on the moon. And today, I'm gonna build it. I'll be using a diagram from the real Saturn V to make my design as accurate as possible. Then we're gonna recreate the Apollo 11 mission, trying to get all of the details as close as possible, doing what we can in Kerbal Space Program. Make sure you go follow me on Twitch to see stuff like this done live. I hope you guys enjoy the video. So we're gonna try to follow this image here as close as we can. I want it to look the same and I want it to behave the same and I want the mission to go exactly the same. That's our goal today. I think we can do it. First of all, I know we're gonna need a three seat command pod because three astronauts went and then we need that launch escape system but we need a parachutes on top so i think we do launch escape is gonna be this thing does it work if we go like this put a parachute no i don't think we can put both so i think we do radial parachutes then uh, we just need to make sure not to block the door so the astronauts can still get out. Is it okay to eat uranium? I have heard that it has lots of calories, so if you're bulking, it could help. <laughs> don't eat uranium. Your body won't be able to digest it. So obviously we want the colors. They're pretty much just white and black, but it looks like the top is just straight up white. And then for the command pod, it's like that big? Well, it has this part, but then it also has the lander beneath it. So I think we need one engine. You know, it kind of looks like that. We're going to need a docking port on top. So how are we going to do the launch escape system with a docking port? Because it definitely has to dock with the lander. Oh, look. Okay, we can put the launch escape system on top of the docking port. Let me just see if this leaves the way I want it to. I just am trying to see. Turn my throttle down. Oh, boy. I just need the launch escape system to fly off correctly. Maybe if I do a stack decoupler, but then turn it upside down, because I just want this to fly away right. Here, let's just make our first stage just this, so. I just need it to break off. Oh, perfect, okay, that was perfect. Because we don't actually need the launch escape system. Uh, it's just for looks, but we want it to function the way they shoot it off. This is looking good for the command pod. It looks like ours is probably a little bit too big, and it also is more metallic than I thought. This is what it looks like. It needs to be more metallic, and look, it has antenna and RCS on it. So let's make sure we put those on. Let's just see if I turn on RCS. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that works. Perfect. All right. I'm liking the way this is looking. Can I part clip these parachutes inside? If I do this, are they gonna die? Okay, let's do a quick test launch just of this. So this is just like a quick re-entry test. So this is the command mo podu module. <laughs> oh yeah, this has plenty of Delta V. This will definitely work. We need the command module to slow down at the moon because while they're on their way to the moon is when they dock with the lander. I'm pretty sure. Let's just boost up. And I just wanna see if these parachutes will work. So also theoretically, I should be able to do this and that launch escape system shoots off. Yeah, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. So then we have this exposed. Oh yeah, and the parachutes work too. Nice. All right, and let's make sure four parachutes is enough to fully slow us down. I think 13 meters per second might be a little bit too fast. I think if we add a couple drogue parachutes too, we'll be good though. Make a single launch one to one scale ISS. You know how hard that would be? Now let's add those drogue parachutes. Make sure we don't block the door. And then we should be able to part clip these in too. Let's build the lander now. We want just a one seat lander can because, oh no, we want two seat because Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin go down to the surface. So this is our lander base. Definitely need this on top, but how do we make that look better? Um, I saw someone use kind of like these as like a way to get the orange and also get fuel tanks. They did kind of like something like this. I want to see if this lander works the way I want it to. So let's launch just this. Okay. It looks like this doesn't have access to the... Okay. Well, something's not working right. We need to fix that. All right. Let's see if this just works. 465 Delta V. We might need a little more on that stage then. 
Oh, okay, guys, it's working. Okay, our two-stage lander is working. So imagine this. We're landing on the moon. Um, all right, all right, all right. All right, chill, chill. We don't have landing legs. Oh, I do think we need a little more fuel because I don't know if 400 is enough because you need about 500 to land. Okay, so imagine this. We're landing on the moon and it'll be a lot easier because there's less gravity. Okay, we're landed. And then we break off and ascend with this stage. Yes, that'll work. Um, it's not going to take off because there's not enough thrust, but I do think it'll work. And we have 900 in that stage. That's perfect. So we just need a little bit more on the thing. 701. That should work. So we can use all of that stage to land, and then this stage will break off. Are they broken off? They're, the bottom one's still firing. I think that works. So we now have the lander and the command module done. Those are the two hardest parts. So now we have a lander and a command pod. Now we need to build the rest of the Saturn V. Okay, and then also Kerbal Manager. We need to make sure that our gumball is filled with not the tunicate. We don't want any in our lander. Gumball is our command pod. Let's go build Jebediah and tim as our three apollo 11 astronauts now we're gonna try to go for lunch here we go three two one yes okay the launch clamp worked it was in its own stage but it, it looked like it worked don't hit it perfect okay here we go this is attempt one this is surprisingly stable i am happy with this design so far oh guys we have an extra astronaut <laughs> <laughs> Why did it add another one? We're not gonna be able to bring them all back. We're gonna have to strand one on the moon now. All right. Well, I guess we'll leave. We'll leave. Uh, we'll leave Bill because you guys don't like him. I think we can shoot off the launch escape system. Let's try it. Oh, that was perfect. That's exactly what I wanted it to do. This is our orbital stage, so it should get us most of the way to orbit. Hopefully, it looks like maybe not. Good thing we have a whole transfer stage too, because. On Apollo 11, they actually use the command pod to slow down once they got there. So we're going to try to do that a little bit higher, about 70. And then let's get in orbit. Let's do a maneuver. That looks good. Okay, we're going to have to dip a little into our next stage, but that should be okay. A first try mission for me is very impressive. Usually it takes me like five or more tries to get a mission working. All right, here we go. What is burning? Okay, I think that's okay. The outer casing burned, but I think we're I think we're chilling. All right, we are in orbit now. So everything is going surprisingly well. So this stage should definitely have enough to get us on our way to the moon too. We want to be as close as we can, so probably like that will work. And then we'll have to get in orbit from there. On the way to the moon is when we open the fairing, turn the command module around, and dock it into the lander. So this is going to be one of the coolest parts. So we need to make sure the next stage will break that and that. Let's do it. Okay. Now we need to break this one off. Now what we do is we turn on RCS. We set this as our target. Turn around. Set as target. There we go. And then have them both aim at target. This is how you dock. I'm not very good at it. So now the docking ports are aiming at each other. And then we should be able to kind of use the RCS to adjust me to go right into it. Here we go. Oh, okay. I guess they docked. All right, boys, we are docked. We now have the command pod and the lander docked the way we want them to. Perfect. Now we continue on our journey to the moon. There's the moon, guys. We are about to burn our way into orbit now. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. All right. We got our man pod slowing us down. Three, two, one, cut. How's that? Now comes the scariest part. We are undocking now. There we go. All right. So now we are going to be controlling just the command pod. Let's just get out of the way. So if we're coming around this way, we're going into the daylight right now. So we can start slowing down. Let's do it. Let's just make sure we don't hit the command pod. And we're going to totally do this. And we have lots of fuel. 
So we don't have to worry about doing suicide burns or anything because we have a two-stage lander and just the landing stage is 1,200, um, which I'm pretty sure would be enough to go there and back. So we're good. We're good with feel for sure. Chat, who do we leave behind? <laughs> Everyone's going to vote Bill. I already know. No way everyone doesn't vote Bill. Bob, everyone's voting Bob now. I vote Bill. Going in, going in. The Saturn V rocket. Perfect landing, I think. Can be really gentle because we have a lot of fuel. Oh yeah, look at that. That was so good. I literally am Neil Armstrong. We got touchdown. Yes, let's go. Touchdown. All right, all right, guys, we did it. We successfully landed the Saturn V lander. Now go outside and plant that flag. We will do that. All right, so we're leaving Bob, right? Can we switch back? <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get this dock and return mission now. We want to launch and go east. Let's do it. Bye, Bob. Goodbye. We will maybe rescue you. No guarantees, though. So we should be able to break this off now and then use this engine. Perfect. So I want to go this way east. So now we have to dock our ship here with our command pod here. So as I understand it, we need to make sure these are as close as they can get. Either this one or this one. You're just trying to adjust your maneuver until those are as close as possible. Obviously, I'm not very good at this, but if we go maneuver now and then we go to the maneuver, burn it so we're 9,000 away, then we burn retrograde relative to the command pod we will be able to just go straight towards it it'll make sense you'll see what i'm trying to do this will work i'm pretty sure then set this to target then go retrograde so what this is going to do is set our speed so this is our relative speed to our command module so we want this to be like zero and then they'll be in pretty much the same orbit and i should just be able to go straight towards it so now if I go at target, which is right there, I should just be able to go like this and we'll meet up with it in just a sec. Okay, and then we go on this. Wait, wait, wait. aim at target, which to this. Can I see the docking port? That is target and aim at target. All right, guys, we're doing it. Now we should just be able to go a little bit forward and it should dock right on it. Here we go. Okay, why didn't they dock? Bro, why aren't they docking? Why aren't they docking? Did I ever tell you what the definition of insanity is? Insanity. Skill issue? No, it is not skill issue. I'm restarting the game. I am not dealing with this. I need it to work. Karma, what did I do? You killed Bob. Oh, yeah, I guess I did do that. Okay. Set as target. Aim at target. Please work. I just need you to dock so I can take Bill home. Okay, worst case, if this doesn't work, we EVA Bill and have him just hop in. I think we might have to do that because, look, this is not working. Okay, we're going for the risky maneuver now. This is going to be hard. Okay, here we go, Bill. Bill's just going to jump off. Turn your jetpack on. Set his target. Oh boy, there's no target controls. I'm gonna have to do this completely manually. Bill, let's go. <laughs> we gotta make sure he, he latches on, okay. Grab, board. Let's go, okay, we saved him. We did save him, so I'll call that a success. Now we can unset target and take us home. Final burn. Send our boys home. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, 
one cut. That looks pretty good. Oh, our PE is a little too low. Let's bring it up a tiny bit. We don't want this too low or we'll be entering too quick. We want it around 40k. Yep, and then aim retrograde and we should be good. Here we go, going back to Earth or Kerbin. Here we go. Back into the atmosphere. You can see our boys in there. Yeah, so it didn't slow us down enough, so we're going to have to go around the planet again, which isn't a big deal. It's better than burning up second pass. Let's do it. This should be the last one. Maybe we might need a third pass, which would be... It looks like we might, yeah. I probably could have gone lower, but it doesn't really matter how many passes as long as they get down. Yeah, one more pass, it looks like. Bro, how many passes is this going to take? Another one? Really? I should have gone lower. Oh, how do I... I don't think these can go straight down. It's only side to side movement. So I could just like spin them really fast and that's all I could really do. Okay, I think one more and that will definitely be good because this one's getting low. One more pass and they should drop really rapidly and that will be the end. I am 90% sure it's only one more. Make it more complex. Spin really fast. I, that's going to like kill them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> oh, it's going to make my, my parachutes go away. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, chill, 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 chill. <laughs> oh my gosh, I almost ruined the mission. You can see the parachute starting to fly out. That was probably so many Gs though. It'll show us our max Gs uh, once we land. It, I bet that was a lot. That would totally make them pass out. Yeah, that's our last pass. You can see we're getting low now. Yeah, definitely last one. Looks like we might be landing during the nighttime, which is fine. All right, here we go. We're actually landing now. Can we open the droves? Are we over the ocean? I can't tell. It's so dark. I think we're landing in the ocean because it automatically went to sea. The real Apollo 11 landed in the ocean, so we're going for realism only. Here we go. You see the water. All right. We made it. Here we go. Recover vessel. Oh, yeah. Look. Highest G-Force experience, 143. That would have killed them. Spinning it like we did, that would have killed them if they, <laughs> they were realistic. But first try. What can I say? I'm insane. Why is it so dark? Why do they make this game so dark?